Welcome everyone to another Empyrean Workshop Showcase. Join me today as we take a look at the Spaith Early Survival Capital Vessel. Today's design is called the Spaith Early Survival and it is an unlock level 10 size class 1 capital vessel coming to us from creator Excalibur. So starting at the back, you see we do have a hangar bay, but we also have this nice landing pad for small vessels, as well as a track here that you can use just for walking along or placing a smaller size SV here if needed. On one side, we have tucked away an armor locker, and on the other side, we have tucked away a cargo box. Now this one is important to note right now because you will see another part of it later. Heading through this door, we enter into an elevator and coming down, we are in the command deck area where you see we have some passenger seats, our pilot seat, and a nice lounge area where we can relax. And right next to the doorway, we have our medic station tucked away in the wall. Coming down to the next level, we have access to another elevator, which leads us down to our side door. And next to this door, we have a cargo box, as well as a sentry gun. Pay attention because the cargo box will show up in just a moment. And coming to the bottom of the elevator, we have our core, as well as the main area of this ship. So immediately beside the door, you see we have two fridges. We also have an O2 station here that it states to replace with a repair station when you have the resources for it. Above that, you'll find an armor locker, as well as our food processor. Following along, we have four of our medical scanners for your various ailments. In the floor, we have an ammo box and three cargo boxes, as well as two advanced constructors tucked in the walls. At the very end of this wall, we have another oxygen station. So when you replace the first one with a repair station, you will not be without an O2 station. Above it, we have our cargo box that connects to the flight deck, meaning that you can easily drop stuff in there and then grab it from here without having to walk up and down through the elevator repeatedly. On this other side of the room, next to the fridges, we have our 10 growing plots and two grow lights, as well as a recipe for what is best to plant for your canned vegetables. And as you can see here, we have another cargo box marked for side door access. And this is that cargo box there where you can use the side door as a drop off point, just like the one over here for reaching up to the flight deck. You'll see at the end here, we have, of course, a sign marking the name of the ship and who it's by. And right here, these are just some extra little storage spots. Now we have a three door hangar bay area, which is perfect for repairing your small vessels or just storing a hover vessel if you need to. And right here in the floor, we have a spot marked for the repair bay module, but it has not been installed yet to cut down on resource requirements. Once again, this is the Spaith Early Survival Design, and it is an unlock level 10 size class 1.17 capital vessel. With eight fuel tanks, it can carry a total of 20,100 fuel. And as you can see here with the thrusters turned off and it docked, it has over 51 hours of use. With two oxygen tanks, it can carry 4,000O2 while it only needs 470 oxygen to fill it up. There are the two ventilators, two oxygen stations, and the one medic station. For defense, it keeps it pretty light with just the two cannon turrets, three minigun turrets, and three sentry guns. It has a total of six cargo boxes and the one ammo box, along with the two fridges, one food processor, and the two advanced constructors. Of course, with this ship being designed as an early survival starter capital vessel, it has to be pretty light on the resource requirements. The 2,424 iron should be no problem to get, However, the 2,000 neodymium, 1,180 sathium, and 1,100 cobalt might be a little bit more difficult depending on what resources you have available on your starting planet. It also fortunately requires no arrestrum and zascosium, allowing you to put that to better use early in the game. Overall, I really like this design. I think Excalibur has done a great job with it. It's very straightforward and keeps its cost low while still giving you plenty of functionality for your starting capital vessel. While the resource costs are a little bit higher than some other starter capital vessels I've seen, it packs in a lot more functionality compared to those as well. 
So of course, if you're interested in checking out the design, I will have a link in the description below where you can find it on the workshop. And once again, this is the Spathe Early Survival Capital Vessel from Excalibur. If you try it out and you like it, be sure to leave them a thumbs up on the workshop page and leave a nice comment for them. Also make sure to leave any creative suggestions you might have for the design on the workshop page as well. And of course, that's it for today's video. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave me a like, leave me a comment and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I am your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week and I will see you in the next video.